my program where I conduct research is on developing RNA interference, which is using double-stranded RNA to target specific genes in the insect. Now this is a 100% natural, non-transgenic, non-transformative method. It doesn't alter the crop genome or the insect genome. It just attacks the active expression of genes going on in the insect body that it needs at that time, such as digestive enzymes, developmental genes, or genes linked to its neurons, its brain. What we've been able to do so far is that we've made double-stranded RNA constructs where we can increase mortality of the insects, where we get 100% mortality in 7 to 10 days, depending on the construct we use. Of course, to the citrus industry, the number one point was, can you get this into the field? So, we've just started field trials. We have 40 trees that we will treat with various treatments and monitor, monitor the perseverance and effectiveness of the double-stranded RNAs in the citrus trees over the summer conditions. And so everyone's very excited about that because that will let us know where we need to go next. One of the aspects of the study is to find the best way to apply this to seedlings as well as full-grown trees. Currently we have screened doing drenches where you let the roots absorb it into the tree and we've shown it goes to the phloem and the xylem and the insects will ingest it from the tree. Thus the name host delivered RNAi. We've also done micro-injections or trunk injections where they use pressurized syringes in the same way they use for antibody studies against bacteria in trees, injecting 20 mils of solution, and that appears to work also. Of course, the growers want the easiest method, which is sprays. We're currently conducting spray trials using various carriers to get this to go into the tree. We still have to determine if it goes systemic into the tree, getting into the vascular tissue where the insects feed, and that's the number one thing we'll have to determine. Plus, we have to look at the cost ratio just because you can get a little bit into the tree, can you get enough, well, it will have an impact. Luckily, in insects, we only need a very small amount.